Hello, welcome back to The Happy Hut. I'm Neil and usually my videos are a bit tighter than this. This is going to be a really flabby video and not just because I'm outdoors in my t-shirt. Uh, by the way, summer has happened here in the UK. This is our one day of summer. So I thought I'd take the camera out to then go back inside again because I've got a little project today. And usually I script out or bullet point my videos and for this one, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let you follow along a little project I've got going in the hut today. It's, uh, th this is how it's looking at the moment. But the project today is, is this. I bought this uh, cheap, whoa, some extra bits. I bought this cheap lighting panel on Amazon because I've got a little project going and I thought, well, why, not, why don't I just share it with you and you can see if this works. I don't even know if I'm going to get to the end of this today. Let's take the camera off. This is my position here for the videos that I usually record on the channel. And usually I'd sit down like this. Hello, this is sort of the setup that I usually have. And I've got the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 camera bolted to the wall on this monitor arm. And then from Lidl, which is a very uh, cheap supermarket here in the UK, I bought this light panel. And it's great because it gives me enough light on my face here, but it's also got a remote control. So not that I ever do this, but you can change the colors and do sort of funky things with it. You can also change the warmth of the, of the color. But the downside with it is that I now have a lot of lights on this side and not so much on, on this side. What I usually do to get around that is this <laughs> I mean it's a lamp from Ikea so I've just got that literally pointed at my face which I mean it kind of helps it's really tricky filming in here during daytime as well so I've probably closed the the blind behind me but the idea is this it's to use this light panel I got from Amazon for 25 pounds which is I think that's about 30 dollars it is 30 centimeters across by 60 centimeters long and I'll put those dimensions in the description so the idea is this is that I will put up this light panel here on my left hand side so if I could somehow put the light panel there then I'd have light hitting <laughs> this side of my face I've got another top secret plan as well that I've been mulling and you can tell me in the comments what you think of this I'm getting a little bit fed up of sitting down to make the videos and I'm wondering what if I were to, to stand up would I feel better making these videos standing up I mean it's probably a big procrastination a big chunk of procrastination assuming that I have to somehow position myself differently to make more videos but it's something I really want to try out so the first thing I need to do is a quick uh, costume change. Apart from that, I also need to clear the area now. The next thing I need to do is to line this up on the ceiling, see where I want it and then mark it out. This is the frame that holds it. I think I'm supposed to screw this to the roof and then this will clip on. Now I wasn't expecting this. Should I be lazy? Look, here's the, here's the issue. So I really want this panel light to be tucked within this beam. The frame fits really well in there, but I can't fit it like that because I need to put a frame up for it to clip on. Oh, well, that's not much of a build, is it? If I just tuck it into the rafters. Should we do it? What do you think? I've got these fixtures and fittings. I'm just gonna pre-fit the frame to the panel light. So now I've got this cross brace screwed in behind the frame and then this transformer what I'm going to do is just kind of clip it on the back and then I think I'm going to have to drill a hole in the corner to run a cable in to power it. So I'm going to put this over here like that. So if I mark up where I want the dual lock tape to go it's going to be roughly here. This stuff is brilliant I'll try to put it in the description it's called dual lock tape and it's like velcro but it's really really super strong. Whoa. Then I'm going to stick them together so that they are completely aligned. And then I'm going to stick one piece here and one piece there and then I can take the backing tape off so this is ready to stick to the wall. And now the moment of truth to see if this works. I'll stick this to the wall and hopefully the backing dual lock tape will hold it in place. There, have a look at this. That is quite snug. It's better than it was before. I know that it's got less of a chance to fall on my head. So this is the tricky part. Can I pull it off without pulling off the backing tape? Whoa, it stuck, it stayed. Okay, that one stayed. 
because of the way these slats work, the sticky tape's got nothing to hold on to. God, this is just turning into one bodge after another. <laughs> I think this is gonna work though. What I need to do next is to drill a hole so that I can run a cable out. And it'll actually be this cable. I don't use this cable anymore. This was for a failed lighting project. I had LED strips around the, the chimney there. Wow, I feel like this is, uh, this is almost like fun for Louis building his electric camper van, isn't it? <laughs> not i haven't got the hair for it now i've just had an idea i was going to drill a hole into that's my drilling motion <laughs> i was going to drill a hole into the base of the lights and run the cable through but if i can just get some metal cutters great so i've got the metal cutters all i need to do now is to cut the metal hey have you noticed when fun for louis does this he always takes his top off y you don't think that i should uh maybe um What? I'm not sure this works. So what I'm gonna try and do instead is to just use this hole here and it will inevitably fall on the floor. Basically, I'm gonna use that hole to run the cable through. This is where the danger goes up a notch. I've got the ladder into the happy huts. Basically, I've got to now pull down the cable that I installed over there. I have pulled the cables through the, the hole that was there already and it just about fits. I don't know if you can see the fabric is really just about filling that hole up. So I'm just going to connect this up and get a plug on it. It is now the moment of truth. I've not seen what this panel looks like when it's lit up, but it's all wired up. I'm going <laughs> to put it into position and I guess we'll see what it looks like. So. Here we go. Whoa, that is really bright. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cut to wide shots. This is what my standing shots looks like now. And I, <laughs> I think it's just a little bit too bright. And this is my mistake. I didn't realize that I can't dim this panel. So I have no control over this light it's it's just it's just like daylight which now means that this side isn't bright enough this side here so i'm declaring this a partial fail um i think i'm definitely going to use this light panel when it's daytime and when i've got bright sunshine coming in on this side this might balance it up a bit sorry to cut in but this is this is me two days later and it's in the middle of the day it's very very bright sunshine outside and I think this kind of looks good. <laughs> I think this works. I think my bright, my super bright lighting panel balances the natural sunlight from the window quite well. And I, I'm sort of looking at myself in the monitor. It's okay. And I think I might actually declare this a partial success. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> I think the standing up and talking to camera is working a lot better for me than I thought it would. What I need to do next is to get a standing desk. I'll probably get the Skasta desk and I might even film that for my IKEA dad channel right here. So that'll be an extra video for the, the group of channels that I'm growing at the moment. If you have any cheap lighting tips you can share with us, leave them in the comments below. And right here is something else that I do with my YouTube channels. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, bye.